everyone, this is Mr. Hania going through our emotional mental wellness notes today. So if you go into Canvas, you will see that there's a section of notes there. Uh, unlike our normal fillable notes, uh, these have questions. Um, some areas can be filled. Some areas are bullet points and numbers. So it's a different kind of note. So as you go through and listen to the PowerPoint, uh, just go through, answer, and fill out the um, notes, <clears throat> and then get it turned in. Easy enough for today. So for today, what we're going through is we're highlighting recognized emotions, fostering emotional wellness, developing empathy. We're going to have you do the assignment the way of doula and then complete an SD5 article. What are emotions? Essentially, they are the responsive mind state or feeling based off life. Okay, anything that happens in life, life throws uh, stuff at you, and sometimes that stuff is good and it makes you feel great, and then sometimes that's not so great and it doesn't make you feel that great. But um, these are what emotions are, and we're going to be focusing on seven emotions right now. Seven emotions are <clears throat> best recognized from the acronym SAD FISH. You have surprise, anger, disgust, fear, interest, sadness, and happiness. So it's important to know that these different kinds of emotions, because these are emotions that you guys will express throughout your lifetime, and these are considered to be the seven recognized. Now, for this part of the notes, um, class, we watched this little video. Um, the link should be listed in the um, in the template. But if you go in, you'll see, uh, watch this video. It's going to be a trailer for uh, Inside Out. And so the first question is, what triggers certain emotions? Now, you don't have to have them all there because, you know, there's like six emotions listed uh, minus surprise and interest. But you don't have to have them all listed. But just a couple of things. What triggers certain emotions? So next you want to express your emotions. Now, one of the biggest things is um, emotional expression is always encouraged. And I always use this as the seasoning analogy. Um, expressing your emotions is a lot like seasoning on a food. You don't want to just like just dump all the seasoning on the food because then it'll be too much. You know, nobody likes, you know, salt covered chicken or whatever, like just completely just mounds and mounds of salt, just like you wouldn't want to have mounds and mounds of emotions so with that comes the idea of building empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and share feelings of another. All right, Empathy helps us connect with others. It also helps us understand others' experiences, and it helps us increase our support network because we understand how others feel, and others can understand how we feel. And empathy is a very good skill and a um, very good thing to develop as you work um, and get older because Bruh, I felt that. All right. That's like one of the things that I've heard students say before. So this is just an idea about empathy. So I want you to take a moment to think of a song you really love. You don't got to write this down. Just think of a song you really love, a song that really connects to you. And think about the lyrics. There are lyrics there are that, you know, many people say that they can literally feel the lyrics or the lyrics resonate with them deeper than just surface level stuff. Like they literally can feel so you can connect, empathize, but what about anxiety, depression, and stress? All right, these are arguably the biggest detractors to your emotional and mental health. Hands down, they are the biggest detractors. Um, been proven um, in many studies, and unfortunately, these things are not always something that can be helped, you know, with just simple at-home remedies or things that at the end of the day, stoicism is the goal. Stoicism is the goal, which is remaining level-headed in the face of adversity or emotional difficulty. All right. So we go through things and hopefully um, we never go through things that, you know, is too much. That's too much for us to handle. But the idea is that you can remain level-headed in the face of adversity or emotional difficulty that no matter what life throws at you, you can get up 
So here's what's going to happen for the rest of the time being. We have the way of doula. It's in Canvas. You just go watch the video and then answer the questions. That's all you got to do. Um, Chris Doula, he's a um, professor at East Tennessee State University. And he has gone through very many ups and downs in life, and he tells his story. And you get to see a little bit about, you know, his views on emotional wellness. Um, empathy gets brought up in many cases. And, you know, he talks about, you know, his ups and downs. Once you get done with uh, the way of doula, if you go into Canvas, you'll see an SC Thrive article. What you're going to do is you're going to read the SC Thrive article and answer the questions in Canvas. All right, this is a two-part assignment. So this is the first part. I highly encourage you to get it done today. It's very easy. Um, the big thing is, is that we are going to be taking time to practice activities and engage in things that 